How you doing? Scotty Bear back with another video. This video uh, is maybe a video that most of my subscribers won't be all that interested in, but uh, many of you know that I am an artist online, and when it comes to selling very stupid artwork for loads and loads of money, you know I would be interested. So um, an interesting job has popped up, uh, I guess, more frequently i mean in the industry things kind of change people do different things but selling nfts uh, seems to be something here to stay and something people are getting more interested about however it's kind of unclear of how much the cost is uh how easy is it to do uh minting or sorry gas fees minting nft and i'm about to show you how to do that with a wordpress website uh, this happens to be a client site. Probably I will end up uh, needing to, um, you know, kind of uh, block some of the information on the site. The site is in very early stage. Uh, so uh, I have gotten, uh, installed some plugins prehand here to speed this up. However, this video uh, will get you with the information that you need to know to install nfts on your website or actually offer them for sale collect payment with metamask and uh, how much are gas fees how much you um are uh, probably up against in cost uh, the plugin i'm using is woocommerce this is um the shopping cart plugin um the, there is a, a a plugin called MetaMask that is similar to uh, PayPal, but it uh, does a lot with NFTs and processing ETH payments. I got some experience with that. Also, um, it was very, uh, very good actually. So there's that. So what you will need is you will need some plugins. Like I said, this website's really just the bare bones are set up here. Um, and you'll need this plugin called the NFT Maker. Um, this is a pretty good plugin. Um, let me try to move it down here. The NFT Maker is the easiest and fastest free plugin to work with NFTs without blockchain development experience. That is true. I basically installed it on the site and I'm going to go down here to it. And like I said, we have uh, minted an NFT as I'm about to show you that. So it says uh, how to upload your first NFT. It gives a pretty good tutorial. However, this tutorial may end up being better, honestly, because uh, I feel like I got a good hand on it. We use their base model plan. So we did use uh, credits testing it out. We did create a NFT. As you can see here, um, it's on uh, chain ETH. Uh, and then the bear NFT. So it, it is created. Uh, I'm also going to show you that this works the same as just products uh, on on the website. And you, so you just create a product. And it has a couple um, interesting things here that I, you know, from using this, it was, uh, I wasn't sure what, what to expect, right? So I, I installed this on here. I used sample product downloadable, okay? And like I said, I set up some of this beforehand so you could see. Uh, this will deliver the NFT. Uh, however, when you go in here and make an NFT, uh, you can select the chain you want to mint, mint on, which we use the uh, Ethereum. Now, um, let me show you something else here. So we got the NFT maker, we got the WooCommerce, and then what you're going to need here is you're going to add new. And I'm about to move myself down here. So you're going to need to add the MetaMask crypto payments to the WooCommerce. Uh, you can see it's <clears throat> only about 600 uh installations 
you can offer your NFTs like on places like OpenSea and stuff like that. You're going to pay a, a lot more fees. This is, you know, taking um, everything into your own hands, uh, connecting the payments to your MetaMask wallet, and then basically receiving the money very seamlessly straight into your uh, wallet. And then uh, I'm also going to, like I said, I probably have to black a lot of this out. But you go in the MetaMask here. And you can see uh, receive by ETH. And then you could also uh, Apple Pay and bank transfer. So it's uh, very functional. So people can buy NFTs off your site. So like I said, we're going to go through some of the finishing stages that I have, uh, that I need to do to make this functional on the site. Now, uh, cryptocurrency payments using MetaMask for WooCommerce. So it's going to afford me here. This is the WooCommerce thing. You can see the MetaMask settings here. All you got to do is go down to the payments thing. And then uh, what will happen here is you, you put in your stuff, which is basically your payment address. And then, uh, you know, the different details. Very, very, very simple. Very simple. And very good, too. Uh, I, I'm going to pause the video for just a second. And I'm going to show you the... Uh, basically what it looks like when a customer pays. So uh, we're going to pause right here. So uh, as you can see here, we, we did a couple dry runs here for $200 each. And uh, it gives you pretty good details. I'm probably, like I said, I probably have to go back through here and kind of make sure to blur all this stuff out. But it gives you the wallet and all the details. Um, so it is very easy to use. Uh, really, I've had not a whole lot of uh, roadblocks. However, um, the, you know, some special instructions for the buyer basically saying that they're going to need the MetaMask um, Chrome plugin or whatever to be able to um, pick up the transaction like PayPal does populate it from there. So there, there's that. But like I said, it really wasn't a whole lot of uh, high, super high tech to be able to install these and get it going. And then, of course, let's uh, look at the product real quick. Oh, sorry, we're going to jump to this one. My bad. We're going to the products. We're going to take a look at, you can show the NFT. Now keep in mind, the NFT doesn't show up on in the app. That's one thing I, I learned from using it. I assumed from, and even in their tutorial, the plugins tutorial, they were like, oh, if you want to create an NFT, all you really got to do is go on here, NFT maker, you select it. Uh, I, I, I say he forgot to put that. You, you want it downloadable. So you have to send the NFT to them. It doesn't show up in their MetaMask account like this. It doesn't show up like this. But you will send the NFT to them. If you go to the general upload the NFT, you can send the NFT to them. Because, I mean, after all, it is only an image and it's recorded on the blockchain. but you have to separately add the file URL. All it takes to mint an image is to take and uh, add the image here, push update or publish. And then as you'll see in the NFT, in, in the NFT maker, this uh, mouthful, total NFTs created. So once they purchase, it'll mint on the blockchain and then you'll send them their NFT. And it is very straightforward, turnkey, completely. You're not standing by having 
send this stuff out is WooCommerce, so all the standard features apply. And uh, like I said, it's in the very early stages. The MetaMask settings is, is put in your wallet settings, very straightforward. Uh, the total cost, uh, actually many people I talk to are concerned about uh, the gas fees. The gas fees on uh, $200 purchase seem to hover around $8 because it was a MetaMask to MetaMask wallet to wallet transfer. That was something we kind of discovered in testing it back and forth. There is a test mode. Uh, however, you need to operate under the, I, I think it's called mainnet versus testnet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, if you're into NFTs, uh, wish you luck and have a wonderful Friday.